Thank you. How much of a success so far has this uh, conference been for the party? Well, I believe it's highly successful. Uh, obviously, Nick Clegg was with us last night. Kirsty also did a fantastic question time with Nick Clegg. We are looking forward to trying to dispel and perhaps scotch the myths now that uh, unfortunately have ensued from Westminster that all politicians are crap because unfortunately our credibility is at a very low ebb and I personally worry about this. Um, everybody thinks we're all um, scoundrels and rogues and I think last weekend's debacle uh, with Gordon Brown's entourage has shown again that we as a party have to show as best we can that we are upright and as honest as possible because basically people think we are appalling and they're not interested anymore which is very very sad. How can you do that? How can you overturn this tide of public opinion? Well, by trying to explain that we do try our best. Nobody's perfect. I'm certainly not perfect, but we do try our best. And obviously in the Assembly, we've got an enormous amount of openness and transparency in terms of our allowances, etc. Um, we're obviously not in receipts of so much anyway. And unfortunately for us, some of the big issues around some of the ministers and their spends of allowances have completely... Um, I suppose muddied the waters, so we've got a long way to go, but that's really the work that we as a party have got to do as much as anything else. And finally, Eleanor, there's a lot of talk, uh, or there was a lot of talk in the, in the hall this morning about getting uh, more young people involved in politics and engaged in the political Absolutely, process. Yeah. How would your party go about achieving that? Well, I know I personally try and see at least three or four groups of youngsters, whether they're schools or colleges, either in the Assembly during term times or uh, around my uh, region in North Wales. I think it's absolutely incumbent upon us to try and, and engage as best as we can. I personally have spoken in debate and led debates about lowering the voting age and I think there are a huge uh, amount of stats to show that if people do not vote early they do not really vote for the rest of their lives. They are taxed at 16 etc and they can do all kinds of other things which we can't discuss here and I personally believe we need to do our very very best to engage with as many youngsters as possible because our future depends on it. Other political parties seem to have seen the internet as a way of doing that. Is that something that you feel the Liberal Democrat in Wales should, should try and develop and, and take advantage of? Well, we've got a new communications director, uh, and I know he's very keen. I'm even going to possibly blog. Now, it, when P Peter Black hears that, he'll probably sort of, you know, wince. But seriously, I'm probably not going to do the um, ultra-blogging activity that Peter embarks on, um, because I feel I have to be out and about, and I've got a, you know, uh, I'm a bit further from HQ, North Wales and also I've got a huge patch but seriously I'm going to try I'm on I've got a web page which I pay for myself um, it's a very naff yellow Lib Dem web page um, please peruse it um, and give me any feedback but seriously I'm not going to Twitter I think um, if you listen to Baroness Greenwood she is very concerned about youngsters and twittering because she believes some of the neuro links in the brain are going to be um, well possibly you know not going to work this is a very serious issue I think um, I'm trying to be um, a bit of gravitas but also a bit of fun but I I honestly believe that we do have to go move with the age and obviously Obama showed us the way he, he had huge resources that's the big difference um, but he has shown that um, there is strength in this and we've just got to go for it quite frankly.